Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. I uh, had a bit of a technical issue with my sound check, so um, I'm hoping everything is good. I thought this year I would try and do cameras and at least let everybody um, see me. And um, with the technical issues we had with the sound checks just now, um, I might actually just turn the camera off just to see if it's maybe the internet that was giving us a few uh, a few issues earlier. I didn't quite enjoy the um, enjoy the the drain. Uh, I also think um, I have a colleague sitting next to me, being my 11 year old son. Um, I think I'll turn my camera. I don't know if you can see him sitting in the background over there. Um, we are homeschooling, so good start to 2021. Um, that we are homeschooling. I hope everybody else is doing well wherever you are um, and that you are coping with this uh, strange start to this year um, and that you are all well. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see this. So, uh, um, I struggled a little bit. I was just trying to think, you know, I was, I was hoping to start the year with like an optimistic, um, exciting, um, Let's let's be a hoorah kind of year, and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> um, this year, as I was saying to Jeremiah before we started, it feels like it's the thirteenth month of twenty twenty. Um, it feels like we are having a hangover to um, twenty twenty. Although yesterday was a good day for the world, I think. Uh, whatever your thoughts and all the rest, I think it's going to be an exciting chapter for America that Joe Biden is officially the new president. Um, at least for them, I think hitting 400,000 deaths for coronavirus is not a target that they ever wanted to hit. Um, and hopefully they can start implementing some mechanisms now to manage that. So we'll take the good wherever we can find it. I think that's very much what we need to do. Um, and, and enjoy life. So I would like to keep um, the cameras on. I just think it creates a connection between us. Um, and so I'm going to keep it on as long as I can. And if there is a, a challenge, just let me know, as you always do. And then I will um, revert back to just sound only. Uh, but we, it's, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's share some, something this year. Okay. Um, so welcome. Uh, what I've had a couple of sessions this year already, chatting to some directors and uh, looking at what has been written in um, the media and looking at, I'm part of a, an international group of presenters and a lot of the discussion with this international group has been about uh, leadership. It's been about uh, companies' reactions and responses and responsibilities. And that just really made me think about this topic um, as a kickoff topic for the year, being focusing on directors and directors for practice as well as our clients. Okay, so there was there was a part of me that was thinking about, you know, do I make this sort of so accountant-based purely? And then I thought, no, you know what, as accountants in practice, we are directors as well. Um, we are running our own practices. We are running our own businesses. So there are thoughts here that we need to, to take home for ourselves. But also we are going to be counselors and advisors to our clients. Um, and they are operating in a crisis at the moment. And I don't know about you, okay, I'm sitting wherever you are sitting in the country this morning. Um, we're sitting in KZN in KwaZulu-Natal. I'm sitting in the Midlands um, in the beautiful, glorious green uh, sunny Midlands, and we've been hit very, very hard over December, January with the pandemic. Um, we, you know, the, the 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 saying, which you know sounds very cliched to many of, you know, the numbers have become names, uh, is very, very true for us at the moment. Uh, you know, I've lost, we've lost. Well, personally, myself, I've lost five friends that are accountants in a week. Okay, from coronavirus, I've had many critically hospitalized and um, in RCU. Uh, so, so the pandemic has been very close to me. Um, and it, it made me stop and reflect as well on leadership that are getting sick. Um, you know, in, uh, captains of industry, uh, the intellectual uh, capacity that's being lost um, by, by really, uh, you know, this, this uh, second wave has been hitting, you know, that in my personal um, experience, 
the the people that we've been losing have been sort of 45 to 55 years old, um, have been business owners, have been practice, uh, you know, partners of practices. And that has impact as well on those firms um, and on the legacy that they leave behind. So we are operating in a crisis from a human point of view, but also an economic crisis. Um, we got through last year on a hook and a prayer. Um, we somehow managed to get through the different um, blows that kept on coming. We are wiser now. Uh, we are, understand the mechanisms possibly a little bit better. When we are called to a family meeting and there's a discussion around lockdown, we are not naive anymore as to what a lockdown means. I have to say that, um, you know, if you had spoken to me three weeks ago, I was begging for a full proper lockdown, just myself personally, just as I said, um, this, the second wave has hit KwaZulu-Natal really hard. Um, almost, I, I don't think, you know, before it was like, oh, I heard maybe this person might have, you know, did you know someone who got sick? Now, I, I, I don't think there's a single element um, or I don't think anybody doesn't know multitude of people that haven't been ill, haven't been sick, aren't self-quarantining, um, aren't um, taking this into account. I do. I have heard good news in the last week or so that our numbers are reducing and we're seeming to be getting over the hump, which is brilliant news. Um, but uh, economically, there's no ways we could have afforded another lockdown, another hard lockdown. And I get that. I totally get that. Because we are, our resources are sort of um, depleted. Okay. Whatever fat and whatever reserves we had last year that helped us get through um, many of the challenges last year, for most people are gone. They're finished. Okay. And, and people are very close to the bone at the moment, um, financially, emotionally, um, <laughs> health wise, mentally, and all sorts of things. So that then means, as with any crisis, and I, and I love the quote by um, Winston Churchill, you know, never waste a good crisis. Because it is a learning opportunity. It's a learning. It's an ability to reflect on your practice, to see what, how you can improve, what you can do differently. But the people that need to make those decisions are the directors. Okay, it's leadership, and it's also leadership that sets the tone. It's leadership that um, gives reassurance to the company or, or keeps the company informed. And it's the focus on, on those directors as to what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. At the same time, um, with these meetings with directors that I've had over the last couple of weeks, another point that I've found creeping up is that I've had to remind people about their responsibilities. So I've had to remind people about what they are required to be doing or just refresh them because in our um, distraction with the pandemic and our distraction sometimes with survival, um, the mundane gets possibly put to the side. And, and just, a um, oh, yes, by the way, you have these responsibilities. Okay, so I just thought this was a good way to start the year. Um, just a refresh, a reminder, a moment of, um, you know, at this point, people should be sitting and looking at strategy. They should be looking at the way forward. They also should be at a point of what did we do that worked? What didn't we do that didn't, that we should have done? What did we do that didn't work? Um, and just bring it all together in a, in a session. I'm going to try and repeat to doom and gloom. Um, I have a... Um, you know, everybody's sort of saying instead of setting resolutions, we should be setting a word. Um, just, you know, a word to keep on reminding ourselves. I've got a friend that said her word for the year is now. So, you know, not to be procrastinating and not to be um, putting things off to do everything now. Um, I've got another friend that says their word for the year is new. So to take new opportunities, to take new experiences, to try new things. Um I think also the word needs to be grace, um, to practice grace and to be gentle with ourselves. Um, yeah, so so maybe give it a thought and tell me what your word is for the year. Um, I hope we're going to, you know, maybe strength, um, to dig deep and, and to remind ourselves that we have strength and that we can get strength from others. There, there's going to be some reminding and some, some um, refreshing uh, and uh, there's 
you know, new ideas are always welcome. For those of you that are joining us for the first time or don't know me well, uh, my bio is there. Uh, I don't look too differently from my photo, I think, except I might look a bit more polished there. Uh, my hair's looking a bit more wild today. Uh, but that is who I am and that's where I come from. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.